Today, you're going to learn MATLAB image processing so simply that you'll be an expert in image enhancement and image segmentation. These are the things we're going to need to complete this tutorial. A working computer, MATLAB software, you'll need some toolboxes I'll be showing you how to download, and finally, this YouTube video. If you already have MATLAB installed, great! If you don't, click on this card up in the top right corner to go to my video to learn how to download MATLAB. So what exactly is image processing? Image processing is a method where we perform some operations on an image in order to get an enhanced image or to extract some useful information from it. Today, we're going to be doing a lot of amazing image processing. This has become a really revolutionary field, from medical imaging, robotics, to self-driving cars. The applications are amazing. But how do we actually do it? There are a lot of challenges that come up with image processing. Converting file types, visualizing our end results, and executing and processing quickly. But we are going to overcome all of these issues and problems in this MATLAB tutorial, so let's get into it. Go ahead and start launching up the MATLAB software. We're now in the MATLAB environment. I'm in MATLAB Online. The version is 2020A. On the home screen of your MATLAB page, simply head up into this corner where it says Add-ons. First, we're going to be installing the necessary toolboxes to run this image processing experiment. In the Add-on Explorer, you'll see a few various toolboxes and add-ons. There's a lot of interesting things here that we'll be covering in later videos. However, for this specific experiment and video, we will be looking at a few specific toolboxes for image processing. Go ahead and type in image processing in the search toolbox. Here, you're going to want to install this toolbox called image processing toolbox. Pretty straightforward. Once you have it installed, you'll see this green icon up here. I'm not going to go through the installation process as it's pretty straightforward, but once you have it installed, you can pause this video and come back right to this spot. Now let's get started with the actual MATLAB meat of this tutorial. Quick disclaimer, the contents of this video are going to be very, very simple and will be the basics, so if you're interested in a more advanced tutorial on image processing and enhancement, visit the description below for those links. Thanks. Let's get started with our first line of code in MATLAB. We're going to open up a new script where we can run our code. Once it opens up, we're going to start typing in some code. Our first line is going to be a equals I am read of pout dot tiff semicolon. Now, this line is pretty straightforward. We have a variable called a. We're going to be reading that using the I am read function, which stands for image read, and we're inputting this image, pout.tiff. Tiff is the file format, and pout is essentially an image that's included when you install the toolbox, so you can run it at ease without having to download it. Our next command is going to be I am show. I am show allows us to open up the image and visually look at what it is. Let's run this. I'm going to save the program as test and run. You'll see that MATLAB will run the command and you'll have this image appear. If you didn't have this, make sure you follow all of these steps to get there. Now let's move on to our next step. The I am show function allowed us to look at this, but let's find some more information about the image itself. We're going to use a command and a function known as whos, w-h-o-s. We're going to run this on our variable a. Let's try running this again. It's going to go through all the steps, but now you'll notice in the command window, there's some various information right here. The name of the image, the size, the bytes, the class, and some of the attributes. This is actually very useful in our image processing journey. Let's move on to the next part. Essentially here, we're going to be improving this image and actually enhancing it. So this is going to be very, very interesting. 
what we're going to do is we're going to look at the distribution of the image pixel intensities of the pout.tiff image. As you can see here, the contrast of this image is pretty low. It's hard to see the figure inside the image, and we're going to want to improve this. So let's create a histogram. There's a function known as figure, which essentially allows us to open up a new figure. Let's try typing this in, figure. As you can see, it opened up a new figure. Now let's display something else. I am hist is also known as image histogram. It allows us to take in grayscale image and we'll display that. So let's just run this on our variable called A. Now don't get frightened here. This is actually very simple. Here we have the grayscale, right? White on the right and we have dark black on the left. In the middle here, we have some grayish areas. And if you look in this image, if you look at it overall, I'd say that it's pretty much medium gray level, and that pretty much matches our description right here. There's some around 140 and some around 80. So now let's move on to the next step here. Once we have this, let's actually try to improve the contrast of this image. Let's name a new variable called A2, and let's define it as hist eq of a. Now what does this do? Hist is short for histogram and eq is short for equalizer. So essentially this histogram equalization spreads this intensity values across the entire rate. So the contrast of the image is improved and therefore it's a lot easier to tell what is going on. So let's try running this. Now, let's display this. Let's type in figure, open up a new figure, and let's do I am show of A2, the variable we just ran. Great! We'll now see that the contrast of this image has been improved quite significantly. As you can see, this is pretty simple, but let's move on to some even more interesting things. Now, let's take a look at the actual histogram of this new image. What did it turn into? Let's run figure to open up a new figure, and I am hist a2 to open up that a2 image and look at the histogram now. As you can see, whoa, it's all distributed out and is entirely different. Let's work with some image processing right here. We're going to save this by using a function called IamWrite. IamWrite allows us to write this newly saved image and allows it to save onto our disk file or our desktop. Here, if you want, you can run the command IamWrite A2, which is the image, and we're going to name it pout2.png. It's now going to save this onto my computer here. What you'll notice here is actually we were able to change the file extension to PNG. This is pretty useful. Of course, you can do this in other softwares, but it's pretty interesting if, you, if you're doing actual image processing experiments in here, you can access all of these tools using MATLAB. Let's now take a look at this IMF info. IMF info allows us to see what information is about the image in the file, like format, size, width, and height. So let's simply run IMF info on our new image, pout2.png. And let's run this. What you'll notice is we have the file name, when it was modified, the size, and various other information. We're not gonna go in depth on this, but it's pretty useful and pretty interesting. Let's now move on to image segmentation in MATLAB. Click the video on the screen to go to the next tutorial.